While peer collaboration is an integral student-centered learning activity, it certainly isn't without its risks. Here, Alan Dory provides some insight into group work in the online learning environment. Spelling out the roles in the group is really helpful. Uh, you know, the usual thing about being a moderator and somebody being a note taker, if you just ask them to go and work on a project without that, it'll be very difficult to do if they're the kind of people that can't get along. I think you also have to provide a mechanism for some kind of dispute resolution within the group so you can have a self-evaluation component of the group. That's very common at the end of a group exercise. Or you can just provide some mechanism where members of the group can contact the instructor and say, look, this isn't working. Can you give us some tips? Or is it possible to change one or two members? So groups can be great, groups can be bad. You have to give students some help along the way if you plan to use them. I think that's the best way. I think you just self-group or you can do it randomly. I mean, that makes it easier on the back end. The logistical and technical issues are easier if you just do it randomly. And self-grouping takes a bit of time. And I think self-grouping, it doesn't really guarantee that the group members that get along will pick each other out because you obviously typically don't know each other. You may have some students in the class that know each other a little bit. Uh, and I also think it's good for students that have mixed backgrounds to be together because that was the interaction that I found to be the richest.